Today the topic of our discussion is life cycle costing. First we're going to see what life cycle costs are, then we're going to discuss how traditional cost accounting system differs from life cycle costing, then we're going to see a few applications of life cycle costing systems and what are the benefits of using it. And in the end we're going to discuss five basic steps on how to calculate life cycle costs of any project, service or product. And we're going to look at the real world example. First, let's review the definition of life cycle costing. Life cycle costing or LCC is a system that tracks and accumulates all costs and revenues attributable to cost object from its invention to its abandonment. So what is the difference between traditional cost accounting and life cycle cost accounting systems? Traditional cost accounting system reports cost object profitability on a calendar basis, monthly, quarterly and annually. While life cycle costing involves tracing costs and revenues on a product or service over several calendar periods or over its total lifespan. So why do companies use life cycle costing? Life cycle costing can help the company to evaluate and compare among different alternatives and or to assess economic viability of the projects. Other benefits of life cycle costing include that by knowing the life cycle cost of product or service, managers can understand not only the acquisition costs but operating and support costs that are going to incur by choosing to produce or a product or to provide service. Now let's discuss the application of life cycle costs. Any product, project or service have two cost elements, acquisition costs and operations and maintenance, or also called support costs. Acquisition costs may include initial training costs, logistics costs, and if the product or service is developed internally, some research and development costs. Operations and maintenance or support costs usually include labor, energy, production costs, and ongoing training costs. Now let's review the five basic steps how to calculate the life cycle costs. First, we need to determine time for each cost element. For example, if we're going to produce a new product, we need to determine for how long we're going to be producing it. Then we need to estimate value of each cost element. For example, what are going to be the labor costs every year if we choose to produce the product. Then we need to calculate present value of each cost element for every year. Once we know present value at every year for each cost element, we need to add them together and these are going to be our life cycle costs. In the end we will analyze the results and usually companies prefer the option that includes the lowest life cycle costs. Let's review a real world example. The company is trying to choose a vehicle for its fleet and has two options, to purchase a fuel car or electric car. When you look at the purchase price of two vehicles, it seems that the fuel car price is significantly lower than electric car price. However, without taking into account their operations and maintenance costs, it's hard to tell which car is going to be a better investment. Let's assume the discount rate is going to be a 10% inflation rate at 3.5% and both cars are going to be used for a period of 5 years and then sold. Let's take a look at the life cycle cost of the fuel car. In the first year we're going to purchase car at $17,000. From year 1 to year 5 we're going to incur fuel costs, maintenance and insurance costs that are going to be our annual cash flows. In the last year, we're going to sell the car at a salvage value of $8,000. Once we know our yearly cash flows, we can calculate present value at each year. After we calculated present value at each year, we add all present value together and we come out with life cycle costs of fuel car which is going to be 31000 31, Let's compare it to life cycle cost of electric car. Electric car acquisition costs are going to be higher, but 
the car will incur significantly less fuel costs, less maintenance, insurance costs, will also get a tax rebate and the salvage value of the car is going to be higher. After we calculated life cycle cost of electric car, we noticed that the life cycle cost of it is significantly lower than the ones of the fuel cost car. Thus, all the other factors being equal, the company will prefer investing in electric car rather than fuel car because life cycle cost of electric car are lower.